the tractor will de will be in auto uh, when the uh, when you first uh, first get it, and what that means then is the uh, the tractor is trying to find the most efficient way of uh, of driving. So it's looking at its target forward speed and uh, and, and what the transmission is uh, doing, and uh, it's trying to work out the most efficient way then to alter the uh, the transmission um, to to make sure you maintain your uh, your desired uh, uh, speed. But if we want to have a bit more a uh, bit more control, we feel that uh, we could do uh, do better. Can switch it across into uh, into manual, and then you can take control of this uh, this slider, which will go from zero up to uh, up to thirty percent. Now, when the tractor is in an auto, it is effective if you like trying to figure out where this uh, where this slider needs to uh, needs to be. One scenario where uh, some people quite uh, like to uh, take control is if they were doing some uh, some heavy PTO work on there. So they need to have a consistent PTO speed. They don't want the engine speed being pulled back uh, too much and therefore the PTO speed uh, uh, drops. So the best thing to do in that scenario then is is pull that uh, pull the percentage figure down to say three or four uh, percent in there. And what that means then, there will only be a, a very tight tiny uh, drop in engine revs before the transmission will make a change to maintain then the uh, the forward speed the output and therefore the PTO speed will uh, will remain consistent but if I was doing some some other jobs is if I'm too low on this uh, this figure effectively it just means then I'll have the tractor will be revving away uh, on there will you know won't have any you know be, uh, won't be pulling back much so I won't be utilizing uh, the torque of the engine because it's always kind of revving away so it's kind of all shout on there but vice versa then if I went the uh, went the other way then this is asking for there to be a lot of pullback on the engine and again I could be dropping outside of the uh, the peak uh, the optimum torque curve for the engine so then all of a sudden the tractor just feels uh, feels gutless uh, in there and the net result of that is we'll lose output but also then is our fuel consumption will also go up so if we are playing about with this figure in manual we really want to know as to uh, what we're uh, what we're doing what the uh, what the figure is actually meaning so it's meaning by how much we're pulling the engine back by before we make that uh, make that change when you do alter this figure here it's an in instant uh, response for the uh, for the engine and the and the transmission and so if you had any doubts as to whether you were doing something right or wrong is the best thing would just be to uh, to look at uh, setting up the uh, the area uh, computer on there or the fuel consumption calculator and so then you can see what uh, what fuel you're using but also what your output is and see then have you uh, you know if you say do 10 minutes of the uh, of the tractor in auto then go into uh, go into manual make a uh, make a change on there do 10 minutes uh, with the setting in one position, maybe go the other way um, on there, do another 10 minute run, and then you could see then exactly uh, whether uh, what, the, uh, what the change has been in regards to fuel consumption and output, and see whether then as to whether going into manual was better than the tractor looking after itself.